Hello and welcome to the Valander Hobbies. In this video, I want to show you how to make a bloom effect in Blender <coughs> and Cycle Engine. As you know, in Eve Engine, we have bloom feature, and you can click it, and voila, it's bloom effect. <coughs> and you can use bloom in Cycle, but it is a little bit tricky, but it is not so uh, ha uh, so difficult to do that <laughs> and uh, sometimes you need to uh, use cycle if you want to use something more realistic but you need bloom effects so uh, using bloom effect in cycle is uh, a good topic I think so I'm going to press control Z that 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 and now I'm going to delete this Sunish something look like sun. Okay, <laughs> and now I'm going to open this flowers, and I'm going to make this flower something like um avatar uh, movie, something bloomy flower, and now. Click this one, open cycle. As you can see, it doesn't bloom now. Now I'm going to press this one. For example, if you press this one and increase your emission, and I'm going to make it 100. You can see something uh, like it, it emits light, so there is uh, something like a meeting, but you can see there aren't, there isn't bloom here. I'm going to show you. Here. Oh, yeah, oh. I can render it. It's going to take a little bit of time. I made it uh, for I use 32 sample to make it uh, faster <laughs> and you can see here a meeting but blooming is not available now let's do that so I'm going to go to composition and press use notes and you can see here our flower and I'm going to press oh sorry uh, going to go to press and I'm going to start this one now I always forget about that and now I'm going to press shift A you can't see here why I don't know shift A to add uh, a filter or you can add from here filter denoise first of all and then I'm going to add another filter glare which is used for blooming and I'm going to add an output viewer here I'm going to connect this to and now I think we have something gloomy. Go to layout, come composition, and now yeah. Go to flow. Great. And now I'm going to render this one. This image. First of all, it doesn't bloom. Uh, Blender will, uh, will add this bloom effect after sampling, after rendering, and uh, actually uh, at the end of uh, rendering. And now, yeah, you can see 
it is now blooming. And for example, I'm going to now if I add blooming in the blender and I'm going to add this one to here and no let's see a little bit okay let's make this 100 you can change this all these to no I'm going to add this one Composition and the image. Sorry about my computer, it is a little bit slow, but not too much. It, it's enough to me. Okay, you can see something like avatar game, and I'm going to uh, sorry, select this one, two hundred. And you can actually, I am going to do that. I'm going to make it a little bit. Transparent, I think it's gonna look oh no, not what I meant to. Huh. Yeah, yeah, and I think it looks a little bit. Beautiful. You can see it. And I'm going to render it. Make it 200. You can actually increase this one and download this one. Down, decrease this one. And I'm going to render it again. I think it looks better when I decrease its alpha value. It looks better. Um, as you can see, it is Going to bloom, but it look it, it made a little bit okay. Whatever. Y now you know how to bloom your uh, image, and you can try on other uh, flowers to make something. Avatar uh, plants, or you can use this for sun, as you can uh, you you saw at the first. And finally, I want to show you final. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video or this topic, you think it's useful for you, and uh, please subscribe my channel, thumbs up, and thanks for watching. Finally, see you at another video.